receiver lines? Check. Horizontal stabilizers? Check. Ion thrusters? Looks like we got a tailwind. If we time it right, we can ride the slipstream of the grav train past the sea grid traffic. Ahem. Launch the mag grappler onto that pedway overpass and slingshot right up to... Ratchet. The thrusters are fine, Clank. See? <laughs> Don't worry. It's probably just a fused ion duct. Incoming message from Captain Cork. Ratchet? Clank? I've, uh, got a bit of a situation here at the Planetary Defense Center. Nothing I can't handle, mind you. Just a few thousand... Heavily armed robotic commandos, but I figured, hey, if you were in the neighborhood, maybe. <laughs> I, I do, I have something to hide. Hmm. Heavily armed robotic commandos? When aren't they heavily armed? Are you sure this is functioning properly? You worry too much. Planetary Defense Center, here we go. <laughs> Looks pretty quiet. Where's Quark? Greetings, citizen. I'm away from my post at the Planetary Defense Center. Please enter the number that best describes your emergency. If you are being attacked by radioactive amoeboids, please press 1. If you have been ejected by a mutant space eel, please press 2. If your city is being attacked by a massive deadly space armada, please press 3. Intended target. You think? of a few insubordinate species, ruler of the universe! Your name's Percival? <laughs> Emperor! See the crown? See the scepter? A giant walking throne? A legion of royal robotic commandos? Emperor! Not that a treacherous furball like you could... What's this? <laughs> Such a primitive robot companion. And your kind used to be such renowned engineers. <laughs> oh, I'd be careful if I were you. He's got posomorphic plaster cannons in each fingertip. <clears throat> My gripe is not with the people of this arcade planet, but with you. Surrender your death bot. And simply allow us to kill you. No one else need be harmed. Fair enough. Here you go! <clears throat>
Frank! Are you okay? You got knocked out there for a minute. I am fine. Where are we? Beats me. Ship must have run out of fuel while on autopilot. Well, come on. We need to find another ship and get back to Kerwan. Don't you lay this on me, you worthless sack of Kerchew sweat. You were supposed to watch the jail gate. Ah, blame the parrot. Always blame the parrot. Is everything all right, sir? Ah, Imperial spies! Hide their bodies! Ah! Oh, well, excuse my friend. We're just a couple of humble smugglers, unfairly hunted and persecuted wherever we go. Yep, seems the Imperials have shut down the planet's gelatonium plant. They must be, uh, looking for someone. Well, we're kind of stranded ourselves. Our ship crashed back there and... Aw, oh, come now, sell their kidneys! Stranded, hmm? Well, I'll tell you what, pal, we're gonna make you a deal. You get the gel pumps working and we'll, uh, procure a vessel for you. Here, you'll need this gel in there. So, the Polaris galaxy... Tachyon owns all of it? Yep. Ironic, ain't it? The one Kragmite they didn't vaporize comes back to oppress the galaxy. Who is they? Who? Are you kidding me? The Lombaxes vaporized the whole lot of them years ago, left the Kragmite planet nothing but an empty hunk of dirt. Ah! All hail the Lombaxes! Ah! Saviors of the universe! Attention, transport vessel. A bioscan reveals a Lombax life form aboard your ship. Stand by for immediate disintegration. Ah! Get the lawbacks! Nothing but trouble! Nothing but trouble! Sir, if you jettison the excess cargo, you could increase your speed and evade capture. I couldn't agree more. Ah! Ratchet, those creatures are telling us to go inside that building. Creatures? What creatures? Did you get your wires crossed in that crash? Great, we're trapped. So why did we come here again? Clank? Hmm, Planet Fastoon. Interesting. Why? Well, according to the database, it is a Lombax planet. Download the coordinates. We'll take the escape pod. Uh, but Ratchet, the database also says... Look, there's no time. Come on! You are now entering Fastoon. Touching down in five... Three, two, one. What the... Where is everyone? I tried to tell you, Ratchet. The database said this planet was deserted ages ago. Clank, you see that? It's an old ship. Very old, it would seem. to fix her. Ratchet, we must be practical. Tachyon will find the pod's flight codes. He will be here any minute. Clank, please. I need to fix her. Oh, very well. Destroy what? We have a lot to show you. We have all the parts we need. Let's get to work. This! Yes? 
Yes! It's working! Miserable little prophets. I can't believe they use sick around them. Bunch of cheese! Oh! And off backs. I thought I'd never see one again. Thanks for repairing me. Mad for mayhem, grave carnage, adore destruction? Well, today is your lucky day. You have been invited to participate, oops, I mean, witness the greatest, bloodiest, goriest battle in the universe, the Imperial Fight Festival. Rated M for mature. Come on down to Planet Mukau and enjoy a night of entertainment without any ulterior motives or deception. Offer only valid for fuzzy, long-eared orphans and their tiny robotic companions. Sounded like Captain Quark. Which means it's probably a trap. But it's our only lead. Let's go see what he's gotten himself into. Ahoy there, young Scallywags! This be Cabin Slack, scourge of the galaxy. Surrender your vessel, or be cast to the depths of the universe! Gentlemen, join me in welcoming our guest of honor, your Kragmite Overlord, and my new best friend, Emperor Tachyon! Let the battle begin! Congratulations! You remind me of me when I was a young fighter. Only shorter and less strapping. Quark. Do you mind telling us what you're doing working for Tachyon? Oh, just a little thing I like to call saving the universe. There I was, surrounded by Tachyon's minions, perched on the brink of certain death, staring into the icy precipice of the inevitable. I knew I had to take action. I engaged my foes, channeling days of kung fu classes and dispatching my crouching kitten style with lethal precision. But alas, these rock-hard pecs and unbridled machismo can only hold out for so long. After destroying two thousand of them, my lucky shot rendered me unconscious. For the safety of the good citizens of Kurwan, I swore allegiance to Tachyon's army and became his confidant. Which means you used your powers as a world-class suck-up to save your own hide. A uh, little column A, little column B. Here, take this. It'll explain everything. Uh, the optical relay is damaged, but maybe you can find a ship to play it on. Great! Quit messing around and get over here! I have boils that require lancing. <laughs> Coming, Your Excellence! Pray for me. All right, let's find out what Tachyon's up to. Greetings, inferior beings of Polaris. Does your life lack a sense of purpose? Do you constantly worry about finding steady income? Do you like killing stuff? Then join the Imperial Army and aid me in my humble quest for galactic domination. Here you'll travel to new places, meet interesting people, and execute them in the name of me. Oh, the foe! Did you just say I could meet interesting people? Why, yes, I did, celebrity hero Captain Quark. That sounds terrific. Tell me more. It's simple. Somewhere in this galaxy is the filthy Lombax secret responsible for the Kragmite defeat. As an official Tachyon Trooper, your job will be to ravage every planet until it is found! Leave no stone unturned! No rebel spared! Exterminate anyone who stands in your way! All for a tidy salary and competitive benefits package. Wow! All that and travel too? Indeed! Take the Nundak asteroid ring, for example. Our spies have learned that the secret may be hidden here on this remote moon base. If you sign up by tonight, you can join in on the raid. Emperor Tachyon is an equal opportunity oppressor. Hmm. 
do you think this Lombax secret could be the weapon used to vaporize the Krag mites? Whatever it is, we need to get to it before Tachyon does. This must be the transport to the station, but how do we get the launch code? We ought to warn you that the owner of that there station ain't accustomed to visitors. And why should we trust you? You ejected us into space! Apologies, my friend. I'll tell you what, allow us to make it up to you. Some space pirates from Ardolis have offered us bolts for Leviathan souls. Why, if you were to go and fetch some for us, we would happily give you the launch code. Fuck! Ah, Bombax has a death wish! Ah! There's no way we're getting through this without at least two crates of pyrocytic nitro cells. Who did you say gave you this thing? The Sony. They are little invisible creatures who travel through time. Oh, right. There's the scoundrel! Pulverize him! Thruster coils. Thanks, guys. I can handle it from here. Well, congratulations. You win an all-expense-paid trip out the airlock. Hope you don't mind letting yourself out. I hate that popping sound of bodies decompressing in space. <laughs> Put that log back in his place. What? <gasps> he is a Lombax. Kronk, Zephyr, lower your weapons. And so... Our heroes explain the mysterious circumstances which brought them to Talwan Apogee's secluded space station. Their quest for the elusive Lombax secret. A cipher wrapped in an enigma smothered in super secret sauce. Oh, that's enough, Zephyr. Oh, um, sorry. So you're a Lombax who's never seen another Lombax, doesn't know where they are or what their secret is. That's so... Ironic? I take it he's the smart one. Miss Apogee, is there any reason why Tachyon would think you have a Lombax weapon? Well, this is my father's base. Max Apogee? Max Apogee was a famous... Is a famous... Uh, uh, is a famous explorer and collector of rare interstellar antiquities, most notable of which was a Lombax artifact. Where is the artifact now? Pirates raided the station years ago. This is the only thing they took. My father went after them, but never came back. Hmm. I recall that smuggler mentioning pirates on Ardolis. Ardolis? Kronk, Zephyr, get the ship ready. Lock up on your way out, okay? But what is it? Quick, hide! A pirate evermore! What be that foul smell? Hi. That oyster chili be disagreeing with me something fierce. No, there be a yet fouler smell. One I not be smelling for noise six hundred moons. Oh, fresh trousers. Come back. Rouse the lads, Rusty Pete. Tonight our foes taste the cat's tail. Hey, Rust Bucket! Catch! Arr! Skewer that saucy wench! Aye, Captain! Skewer in! Arr! Me wee cannonballs! I'm telling you, all it needs is a couple of new batteries. Oh, well, what do you know about Lombax technology? My mother was half Lombax. Yeah, well, we used to make these. We'll, we'll watch them and gizmos out of paper mache. Uh, 
I happen to be a renowned expert in Lombax history, and this Duwahiki is a zombie death beam emitter that'll wipe out all life in the galaxy. Then why are you trying to put batteries in it, you darn fool? Guys, just give me two seconds to think. Having trouble? Okay, genius, you figure it out. No! It's the zombie death beam! It appears to be a map. Wait a second. It's Riken 5. That must be where the secret is hidden. I'll send the coordinates to your ship. Meet us there as soon as you can. symbols mean? Can't read Lombax either, huh? <laughs> Sorry. It says, in this room, a secret born, to quell the angry Kragmite storm. You've traveled far, but to be clear, without a tale, your quest ends here. Welcome back, Lombax. I hope your long journey has been rewarding. It's one of those ancient holovid players. <laughs> we used to watch old episodes of Lance and Janice on those certain things. <laughs> Congratulations, soldier. The Center for Advanced Lombax Research has selected you as the beta tester for the most important invention in Lombax history, the Dimensionator. Built by eight of the brightest minds in Lombax history, the Dimensionator's ergonomic design is the culmination of nearly three Arcturian cycles of research. Now, with your help, we will finally end the Kragmite's long reign of terror. But before you begin, it is vital you observe the following safety guidelines. If you are pregnant, have a heart condition, or are allergic to interdimensional travel, please consult a physician before using the Dimensionator. Should you be inadvertently warped to the dimension of the Xaniferian death weasels, remain calm and access the pepper spray located in your beta test kit. In the unlikely event that the Dimensionator creates a time-space singularity and tears the fabric of the universe asunder, please log an A bug and notify a programmer immediately. Following this orientation, please report to our testing facility on Planet Sargasso for live training and deployment. Good luck, and farewell from the Center for Advanced Lombax Research. The weapon used to vaporize the Kragmites was... a hat. Oh, come on. There's no way a Lombax would invent something that ridiculous. Oh, really? What about your nuclear-powered rocket sled? Your anti-matter bathroom buddy? And let us not forget about the electroshock undergarments you invented last fall. Stunderwear. Huge seller on Umbris. Guys, you're missing the key word here. Interdimensional. There's more to this than we thought. Come on, we need to check out that testing ground on Sargasso. Oh, hey there, friend. You know, it looks like these here launch pads are out of go juice, you know what I'm saying? This decryptor can get them going again, but I couldn't part with it unless... Let me guess. We find some more Leviathan souls? Bop! He's a wise guy! Bop! Come on! It's right this way! Ah! Oh, dear. Oh, it's you two! Almost didn't recognize you in high def. <laughs> oh, you're just in time. I'm about to try out my revolutionary high-speed intraplanetary transportation gizmo. <laughs> oh, I take it you was expecting something else. Something capable of vaporizing an entire planet of whatchamacallits? Cragmites. Well, I hate to burst your bubble, but it don't exist. Uh, what? Friend, I've been everywhere in this universe and beyond. Believe me, there's no device like that. That don't mean what you're looking for ain't there. Say, do you happen to need a three and three-quarters cubit hexagonal washer? 
I seem to have a spare. Here you go, just in case. <laughs> well, good luck, friends. What just happened? Hmm. I am starting to wonder if the Kragmites were ever vaporized at all. Perhaps they were just moved. Ratchet, Clank, where have you two been? I need you at the arena, Chop Chop! I think I may have found another C-L-E-U-W... four? Outstanding work, strangers I've never met! And now, the fruits of your labor! One hollow pirate disguise, perfect for parties and undercover misadventures, and for the little guy, a copy of my new exercise book, Body by Quark! Now you two can have the calves of a champion! Did you call us here for a reason, or are you just trying to get us killed? Can it be both? <sighs> I'm just kidding. Here, I found this in Tachyon's underwear drawer. I, I, I thought it was... I, I thought it might be a clue. It's time for another installment of the Polaris Compendium of Historical Importantness. In this chapter, we will explore the galactic awesomeness that is Iris. The largest supercomputer in Polaris history, this mysterious behemoth is said to have an IQ of 3 billion. That would mean 170 terachnoid sages or 3 billion holonet fanboys. Built by an unknown race eons ago, Iris once served as the ultimate search engine for the universe. Now it resides deep within pirate territory, sealed off from the public. Its only master, the duplicitous Captain Slag. This has been another depressing installment of the Polaris Compendium of Historical Importantness! Hmm. Maybe Iris knows where the Dimensionator is. Let's go. Take me with you! I can't do this undercover thing anymore. I'm not a superhero. I'm just a hero. How am I supposed to survive without some kind of endorsement deal, huh? Well, uh, okay, take it easy, big guy. Maybe you can be a superhero. You just need to stop being so self-absorbed and whiny. You're right. This is not the time for vanity. It's the time to show the universe how amazingly awesome I am. I'm sorry, Ratchet. I hope you never have to endure the pressure of saving an entire galaxy. Wish me luck! Tell me about the Dimensionator. The Dimensionator, created by the Longbox architects of Rikas Minor, its creation marked the turning point in the Great War. So, how does it work? Existence is divided into infinite dimensions. The Dimensionator opens a portal to these worlds. The Lombaxes constructed a device in order to exile the Kragmites. Then how did Tachyon survive? Percival Tachyon. Discovered by Lombax Trillium Miners eons after the war, frozen in an egg on this very planet, and raised on Fastum. Wait, Tachyon was raised by Lombaxes? Affirmative. But when he learned of his true origins, he set out to bring back the Kragmites. So where's the Dimensionator now? An explorer named Max Apuji relocated it to Kershu City. Our cells functioning at 8% capacity. 8% capacity. No, wait! Where did the Lombaxes go? Why did they leave me behind? Thank you for visiting Iris. Please do not forget to validate. We need to get to Kirchu City. If we can get our hands on the Dimensionator... A wormhole device is too dangerous for anyone to possess. Now please, the Zoni say Talwin is in trouble. We need to get to Zordoom. You know, Clank, just once, I wish you'd listen to your real friends instead of your imaginary ones. Ratchet, please understand. The Dimensionator must be destroyed. Why? Because your imaginary friends told you so? Ratchet? Clank? Did I call it a bad time? No. 
Timing was perfect, Quark. Did you get the holographic schematics of Zordium we asked for? No need for holograph, Ratchet. I happen to be a skilled schematic artist, trained in the prestigious Kurwan Learning Annex. Behold! Zordoom Prison, a dangerous dungeon of dastardly denizens, death and destruction. A deadly den of devious desperados damaged by decades of... Uh, uh, let's just say they're criminals. To infiltrate this fortified fortress of fear, our agent, codenamed Dead Meat, will make his way along the grind rail of certain death, traverse the walkway of tortured souls, and ascend the grav ramp into the mouth of the Jolly Jackal. While I direct the operation from my townhouse of solitude, our agent will jump down the elevator shaft to the lair of eternal sorrow. It is here he will be confronted by an army of tachyon troopers, a battalion of embattled bandits, and an entire school of zombie ninja panda bears. Good luck, dead meat. May you die a glorious hero's death. A jailbreak? You sure know how to impress a girl. Are you kidding? We used to do this all the time back on Kurwan. We did? Wait, how did you even know we were here? Never mind. Come on, we have to break Kronk and Zephyr. Keep your eyes peeled, Clank. It's gotta be here somewhere. Huh? I thought I heard something. Come in. Roger? Look at this thing. I've never seen anything like it. Um, Ratchet? This is incredible. Ratchet? I think they followed us. A must, young scullywag. I see ye have something that belongs to me. Now be a good lad and hand it over. Now yeah, why don't you try and take it, Grog Breath? You wouldn't begrudge an old pirate his booty, would ye? That'd make old Pete here a bit twitchy with the blade. Oi, Captain! Say the word, and it's the locker for our friend! Try to follow us, and I'll gut ye bow to stern. Gentlemen. Give it back, Slag. He picked the wrong spot for a fight, me boy. Perhaps a flogging will teach you to meddle in the affairs of Corsairs. That's a good one, Captain. You made a rhyme. <laughs> Shut up, Pete. Aye, aye, Captain. Shut up. <laughs> Ready to build and step aside. The rats dine on Lombax tonight. <laughs> The end be near. Oh, tis beautiful, Pete. A bright light at the end of me dark tunnel. Oh, wenches, as far as the eye can see. Each with a point of grog and a smile for old slug. Fare thee well, cruel galaxy. Fare thee well. Captain? Captain? No! Why? Why? I suppose now that you're our new captain, you'll be needing one of them gimmicky pirate names. The Dread Pirate Ratchet, perhaps? Well, I'm your new captain? Aye, 
is the code, sir. <laughs> Thanks, but I'd rather have the Dimensionator. Ratchet, we cannot allow it to be used even once. It is too dangerous. I see. No way the Lombaxes could have invented something useful. It is not logical to use this device, knowing the threat it poses. <laughs> what threat? You know, ever since the rocket sled, you've been nothing but a giant pain in my... Quark! What are you doing here? Showing the universe that I'm a superhero. I'm also fighting the mother of all wedgies, but mostly the superhero thing. Quark, put down the Dimensionator. I shall now emblazon my name in the annals of galactic history by hurling this infernal contraption into a black hole! Don't worry, Captain. That vessel will set course for the nearest available planet. Which planet is that? The Cragmite Homeworld, Captain! Grog? Contaminated three kilocubits north of this location, but there is no area suitable for landing. Well, looks like we'll have to do this the hard way. Kronk, Zephyr, prepare for a halo jump. <laughs> Ten four, rookie, lead the way. <laughs> How fitting! The prince of the crack mites and the son of the lombaxes. On the very ground their ancestors last fought. How do you like my planet, Lombax? It's been dormant for years, thanks to your kind. I love the ruins. Feng Shui meets drab and dismal. I dig it. Science, you half-wit! I will deal with your deceitfulness later. I have waited years for this moment. Finally, the time has come for the Kragmites to rise again! <coughs> to rise again! Come on, Clank. Let's get back to the surface. Clank? Clank! Will you hold still? I'm trying to reattach your darn head. Yeah, well, it, it got blown off protecting your rusty bolts from that craggy mite slayer. But my bolts aren't rusty. They just haven't been used in a while. <gasps> Ratchet! Are you okay? No. He, he's gone. Clink's gone. Why didn't I just listen to him? He was right. He's always right. I should have destroyed that thing when I had the chance. Hello, Ratchet. Clank! I am glad you are okay. Yeah, me too. I mean, you too. 
I hate to interrupt, but my senses indicate a Kragmite Armada rapidly approaching Meridian City. That's the capital! Ratchet, you need to get there and help suppress the invasion. I'll meet up with you as soon as we repair Kronk. Aphelion, what's the situation on Meridian City? Partly cloudy, 72 degrees. A perfect day for Kronk fishing. I meant the invasion. Oh, in that case... Over a quarter of the city has been decimated by Kragmite dropships. They will not last long without support. It's on the way. <laughs> you all right, Quark? That guy is so off my top eight. We need to stop Tachyon before he opens up any more portals. Where did he go? Who knows? Who cares? I don't deserve these rock-hard abs, these chiseled features, these impeccable glutes and bulbous buttocks. I'm no superhero. I am Captain Quark no more! Get a hold of yourself, Quark! Ratchet, I believe Tachyon is heading to Fastoon. What? How do you know? The Zoni told me? Then Fastoon it is. Smashing idea! I'll stay here and coordinate the relief effort. Warning! Warning! Tachyon's cargoes have locked onto our position. I'm not sure we can shake them. If you jettison the excess cargo, you could increase your speed. Uh, no, no. That won't be necessary. <laughs> has raised you. How could you do this to them? Those filthy creatures have the gall to pity me. I spent years building an army large enough to lay waste to this infernal planet. What did you do to them? If it's answers you seek, meet me in the court of Azimuth. <laughs> I'll take the grab ramp. You find out where that door leads. With their city decimated by my enforcers, your race took refuge behind these walls. They believed if they left this dimension, I would leave Polaris unscathed. <laughs> You're lying! Lombaxes don't run. Is that so? Dimensionator! I'm the Lombaxes! Keeper of the Dimensionator and his infant son. I took great pleasure in destroying your father, Lombax. Pity he sent you to Solana before we could meet. I offer you this one chance. Go home, join your race, or stay and suffer. If I leave you with the Dimensionator, no one will be safe. Not the Lombaxes, not my friends. I'm not going anywhere until it's destroyed. Typical Lombax. So noble, so courageous, and so very dead. What's this? No. 
No. <laughs> what, you infernal machine? Huh, you were right. Wormhole devices are dangerous. What? Oh, come on. It's not like one of those hollow films where you think the guy's dead and suddenly... <laughs> are so screwed. You can't kill me, Longmax. Only I know your true purpose in this galaxy. Only I know your true name. The crack might return is inevitable. Your kind will never be safe. Do you hear me? Broken. Looks like something snapped off the primary reflux coil. I believe it is missing a three and three quarters centicubit hexagonal washer. Dimensionator, find home! Are you all right? Uh, where... where are we? We are home, Ratchet. Arrgh! 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 No, 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 no! You've got it all wrong, mate! Try it again, this time from the throat! Arrgh! Honestly, how did you ever become the captain of anything? Once more, and this time, add an inappropriate slur. Arr, you saucy wench. <sighs> I'm gonna need more grog. I am Tachyon, crown prince of the Craggy Might. If I fear me and, yeah, uh, uh, what not, for I will rule the universe. <laughs> Die, crack my feet! <laughs> Will you two be careful? Krog's head is a microcubit away from popping off. Do you think he was telling the truth, Clank? About my father? About my purpose? I detected no lie in his voice. But I believe your purpose has already been filled. You vanquished Tachyon. Something even the Lombaxes could not do. Thanks, Clank. Don't look at me. You said it was broken. Oh, whoa. Uh, Clank, are these the Zoni? To learn who you are and who you become. Let. Him. Go! It is time to understand your purpose. It is time to come with us. Yes. Time to come with you. Clank! <laughs> 